Welcome back once again to Ready Joe's Saloon in Kingstown uh, Road right here in uh, Kingston, no, well, in Wakefield, Rhode Island, just down the road from the University of Rhode Island. Ready Joe's Saloon, legendary food, drink, great deals every single night. Check them out on Facebook at uh, facebook.com backslash Rody Joe's Saloon. So uh, make sure you do indeed check them out. It's our Student Athlete of the Week segment. Marquis Jones is with us, presented by the Ram Zone. The Ram Zone, be sure to shop at Ram Zone Gift Shop, the official online store for all of her, your Rody Rams apparel. Ramzonegiftshop.uri.edu. That's ramzonegiftshop.uri.edu. Edu and want to thank our friends of the Rhode Island Lottery as well, proud partners of URI basketball. Be sure to play your weekly Powerball numbers and wild money drawing. Visit rilot.com for details. Rilot.com. So we get a whole bunch of dot coms for you to visit. But right now we're going to talk to our good friend Marquise Jones, the point guard for the University of Rhode Island. Uh, Keith, assess the season right now. You guys uh, uh, are uh, right in the, the thick of things in the Atlantic Ten. Three and two in league play right now, and uh, difficult loss to LaSalle. But before that, a nice string of victories for Rhode Island, two of which were on the road against St. Joe's and, uh, and Richmond. So right now, some good, some bad. But you guys going to be pretty pleased with being in stri- within striking distance right now. Oh uh, yeah, um, definitely pleased with uh, some of the some of the road games that we had, and we won. You know, playing the, playing well at Richmond and winning that, and um, playing well at St. Joe's and winning that as well. You know, uh, it's big to win on the road because, you know, uh, we don't have the, the same momentum and, uh, as we would normally have if, if we're home. So being away and having uh, wins on the road is uh, definitely important. This guy surprised a lot of people that, that play at Richmond. And coming off two tough losses to Florida and Xavier, and uh, I think uh, uh, a lot of people said, oh, Richmond at Richmond, that's going to be a pretty tough one. You guys looked at that game, and uh, you went out there and, and took that from them. Talk about what led up to that game and uh, – uh, what uh, brought you guys to that victory? Uh, you know, we played with a lot of high energy. You know, we are all on the same page, disciplined on defense, and you know, we uh, we kept their scorers at you know at bay. You know, they they didn't get off as as well as they, they would throughout the season. But you know, we all on the same page. We played defense throughout the whole 40 minutes, and you know, uh, we at the end of the game, we made shots. You're scoring more this year than you have in the past, uh, and asked to step up and do that scoring. Uh, is that come easy to you to be able to blend both the scoring and the and the playmaking? Um, yeah, you know, um, point guard's supposed to do whatever asked of him. It's defense, rebounds, you know, it's just, you know, whatever whatever he has to do, that's that's what he has to uh, get done. So, you know, um, putting the ball a little bit more in the basket this year, and uh, it, it's not overly hard. It's uh, tough having Delroy and Keem and Nikolai, who, who are great shooters and. Uh, Great scores, you know, it just, it just makes uh, my job a lot easier. Getting a chance to play off the ball now, too, as well, as Daniel West comes in. Uh, talk about that change in your your role on this team. Yeah, you know, playing a uh, two guard kind of have to be a little bit more uh, in a scorer's mentality, you know, looking to, looking for my shot a little bit more often, not just um, just to penetrate the pass, but uh, try to finish more often than, than, uh, than usual. With uh, with that in mind, this uh, you're able to expand your role on this team and uh, help out in more areas, which is certainly a, a great thing. As you look down the road with, uh, you know, half this conference play that's still left to go, you're pretty uh, confident what this team can do? Um, I'm way more than confident than what uh, we're capable of throughout the rest of the season. You know, we, we had some good strides, you know, going forward, and we, we know we could be one of the best teams in the if not the best team in the A-10. So, you know, we, we definitely look forward to the rest of the games throughout the year. Fantastic, Marquise. It's been fun watching you play. This has been the Running Rams Basketball Hour with Coach Jim Barron, presented by Rody Joe's Saloon, legendary food and drink, and 920 WHAJ.